No way to stop it. Just close your eyes and let it ride. It comes, and I recoil from the stench and the pain. In September 2005, James Fry's harrowing memoir about addiction, A Million Little Pieces, was chosen by Oprah Winfrey as her newest book club selection. Thanks to the book club publicity, Fry and his memoir were catapulted to international fame. A Million Little Pieces topped the New York Times bestseller list for 15 straight weeks. Fry was hailed as a hero for his brutally honest and painfully truthful confessional about life as an addict. Very quickly, however, Fry's story shattered into a million little pieces. I, I don't know what is true, and I don't know what isn't. So first of all, I wanted to start with, with the smoking gun report um, titled The Man Who Conned Oprah, and I want to know where they write. I, I think most of what they wrote was pretty accurate, absolutely. It is difficult for me to talk to you because I really feel duped. I came here and I have been honest with you. I have, you know, essentially admitted to lying. what I have been to, to lying. lying. As more and more of Fry's supposedly true story was found to be inaccurate, the public was outraged at having been misled. Yet, recent psychological studies have suggested that the average person lies multiple times a day, despite truth and honesty being two of the most universally celebrated values. I wrote a book. I'm a writer. I, I took liberties in a book to tell a story better. Fry used his embellishments and untruths to write a more compelling story and sell more books. Are our everyday white lies really so different? Is it ever okay or even appropriate to lie? Are we always obligated to tell the truth? <laughs>